Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode four of my Sunny Days Prologue and Chapters playlist. Um hold on for a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to cut my back the light off. Um anyway, this um review I'm going to be reviewing is by my girl Michelle Janine Robinson on the other side. Basically, this book deals with domestic violence. It deals with changing your identity. Sort of like, um, it also teaches lessons such as um, controlling when things happen to you. Because you can't control what happens to you sometimes. But you can control how you react to it. Um, okay. Basically, this book starts off at the wedding of Demita and Neil. Now, her mama, Karen, don't like um, Neil from the jump. I don't like Neil either. He's disgusting. He's a loser. He's a controlling um, freak. And they find out later on he snorts coke. Anyway, Carmella, her best friend, don't like him either. And, you know, Neil is very insecure about uh, Demita's friend, Brandon. So, you know, they get married, you know. And, you know, mama not feeling it. Mama knows, honey. Mama knows. And when they get home, Neil decides to smack the shit out of Demita. Like, what? And she's in shock. And my thing is, once that man hits you, once you got to be gone. But some people be like, oh, they could change and stuff. And unfortunately, Demita has to learn the hard way that not all men change. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, we go to her job, the job, her job that she's at. And let me just say, I like her balls, Mr. Underhill. I like her balls so far because her balls is cool. And he's very fair. He's fair. He recognizes his employees' hard work. Um, he trusts Demita's advice and excuse me, her word. So anyway, Demet um, Demita is um, very high up on the uh, on ladder, you know, breaking glass ceilings. And she is cool with one of the ladies at her work who was at her wed wedding, Wendy, and. Um, She's also, um, she's also, um, was thinking about getting another hoochie mom at the job, a chance. Her name was Tina. She's the one that wear the short skirts and, you know, she's rumored to have been done, did it to everybody in the, um, in the office. And I'm like, ooh. My thing is, this is my thing. If you're going to sleep your way up the ladder, at least have some brains with it. Tina did have some brains, but child, that's more behind Tina than everybody knew. One thing I love about, excuse me, one thing I love about Michelle, she definitely knows how to serve up the drama in the books, you know. I'm thinking, okay, you know, she going to get some advice. She going to leave this man, like, after they got to their final fight. Wrong, honey. She gave me the wrong again. And I'm just like, damn, Michelle, you really know how to do twists and turns in your books. That's one thing I can say. Um, Also... This book also took place during, she wrote it during the time, she wrote it to take place during the time of 9-11. And, you know, as you know, that was a horrible event. And, you know, a couple of her co work you know, a lot of people didn't survive. A lot of people died during 9-11. So, I could see, I, I, I just couldn't imagine, hmm, excuse me, how it felt during that time. With nine a lot. I mean, I can, I can, you know, I can imagine the pain a lot of families went through. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that Michelle knew how to write, could write something that just draws you out. I, this is why I would say this one is this one is probably a thumbs up for um Johnny, Junie, and Jonathan. It didn't, it didn't have a lot. It had some sex scenes in there, but it was the sex scenes were pretty okay. Um, but I just got to say the drama in there was so juicy. The lessons that you learn from there is good. And I just got to say, Michelle Janine Robinson is, um, a very superior writer, a very excellent writer. And if you have not checked out her book, you need to check out her book on the other side in the link bar below. And she also had wrote another book called Strange Fruit, which I also reviewed. I'm going to link that one, the book below in the link bar below too. Anyway, um, once again, I... Truly, like I said, enjoyed this book. It do, teaches lessons um, about relationships, 
and it teaches lessons about, you know, a lot of drama. Anyway, I just gotta say thank you guys once again for supporting my book series. Not my book series, my book channel. I'm tired, don't mind me. Thank you guys for supporting the authors that I review and getting everybody connected. You know what I'm saying? This would not be as big without you guys retweeting it, sharing it, or just talking about it. Anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later and thank you once again for liking this video. Bye now.